Hello and welcome, my name is Derek and you are watching me build the city of Goose Bay in City Skylines. So tonight I'm going to show you just a little bit of what I did here. So in the last stream um, we filled out this residential area here, leaving this area here for a park that was coming in. We had gotten these train lines set up and we were uh, waiting for the industrial demand to come in here. So since the last stream, I just kind of filled some things out here. Um, I didn't really do anything to kind of, you know, like zone any more residential, commercial, or anything. Um, I, all I did was put roads in and just kind of uh, planned out where I wanted to put stuff here. Um, so uh, that led to some farming roads, uh, some forestry roads. Haven't put any of the industries in yet, uh, but we do have a little bit of demand. Uh, but let's just take a little bit of look around. Um, I put all these trees in just to give the place a little bit of color. Um, you know, not make it so empty. Let's take a look at our track here. All right, 88%. So we're doing very good on traffic. Alright, so another thing that I did since the last stream, so we have uh, this train station that has these five separate tracks going through it. Each one of these is its own station, uh, which can allow inner city trains. Um, what I did was I turned off the middle three here, because I really only want the trains um, coming in and out of the city from here and here, and I want to leave these free for you know, future rail lines uh, inner city. All right, so we do have a little bit of residential demand. Uh, first thing I want to do is just kind of take a look at our services, see where we are here. All right, so we're doing really good on electricity, water. Now I'm using these mods um, that make it so I don't have to use power lines or uh, pipes. I know a lot of people are really big sticklers about having pipes, but I just don't want to manage it, so I just I just let that go. Um, we got good usage. Garbage, we're also looking good. Healthcare. Now, if we want to expand down out in here, we're going to need some more healthcare. Gonna use this medium-sized clinic. I think we're gonna put our services kind of right in the middle of this area here. Um, so let's take a look at death care. So I'm using these block services for death care. Um, I just don't like the look of the crematorium and all the smoke that goes up. It makes me feel sad. So I just use these block services, stick it right inside the medical building there, and we're good to go. Now child health care. So the closest one is up here. If I put one in this area, so this area is kind of lagging in child care. But I believe I should have some room here Put one of those there now that coverage does kind of spill into here so we can make this one this is kind of on a this is on a hill so this part here we're not on a hill but this part here is on a hill so we do want to think about that I think that might look good about here All right. 
right, so elder care. I think I'll put that right there. So that gives us good coverage through this whole area. And a sauna. Actually... Stick one somewhere over here. Those people can enjoy one of those. Alright, so fire coverage. Um, fire coverage is going to be a big issue because we got all these trees here. Luckily, I don't have the Natural Disasters DLC, so random fires aren't really too big of an issue. It's just the ones in houses. Alright, so this one gives us 10 trucks and it looks pretty nice. So we'll put one of those right next to our healthcare. And if we're being responsible, we should have another one kind of like here. Okay. Police departments. I think this is the one that we've been using. I like this one. It's uh, it's small, but it has a good car capacity. So that one could probably just fit right there. And that gives us coverage to there. So let's sneak in another one right here next to this fire station. later so we'll just hold off on that all right now education been putting a lot of thought to education here so we haven't had much of a, I'm just gonna pause this for a second we haven't had much of a industrial demand or commercial demand. We have lots of commercials, so all the residents are kind of just working at these commercial places. Um, so the industrial demand, I kind of want to make an area. So we already have the capacity because these schools do have good capacity, and this is all low, um, low density residential right now. Um, so I actually took out a couple of the elementary schools. Um, and I'm not going to put any over here just yet because um, I want to make sure that some of these residents are going to want to work in our industries. Um, taking a look at high schools, so same deal. Um, we do have high schools. We got one, two, three, four high schools for a population of you know almost 3,000, so we don't really need one. It's just it's not close by for these people. Same thing with the university. That's actually on the island here. So that's far away from everybody else. So these guys can get to it, but it's harder for everybody kind of below the train tracks here. So we're not going to put any education in there. 
but we do want to put in some parks because we do want to, you know, give them some amenities here. Um, so let's see, I want a nice dog park here. And here. That should be good for parks for now. So let's just start putting a whole bunch of residential in. So we don't want to put them so close to this uh, train station. So we're going to leave these for future uses. But we're going to start below that. We're just going to, you know, pop it in. Let the game start filling out. Alright, so I'm just going through, putting in some residential, letting it all fill out. Um, Alright, so yeah, I'm just going to continue filling in residential in places where I know I'm going to want residential. And then we're going to start on this park. Let's just sit back and uh, watch me zone some residential.
Oh, it looks like I got some trees poking through here. So this is actually something that I set up in the, uh, um, time between streams here. These are paths that go underneath. So this roundabout, so yeah, let me actually just talk about this for a second here. Um, so I got the farming area, I got the forestry area, and I set this up to be the cargo terminal. So down here, you got this single line comes in, and then I got it splitting off. This left um, rail line becomes the passenger lines. And then this one comes around and is going to be part of a cargo terminal at some point. Um, so I have uh, this road coming off here. So this is a new roundabout. And there is, um, you know, since this is a highway roundabout, there are no sidewalks on here. So anybody walking down this road would have no way of getting to the other side. Um, so I, I started putting some pedestrian overpasses, but it just didn't look right. So I stopped doing that, and I went with these tunnels instead. So I think that looks a lot better. All right, I'm probably gonna put some houses along this uh, Campbell Street here, not along this road. Uh, but what I wanna do through here, I don't wanna make too many connections to this avenue. 
So I'm going to use some pedestrian paths to make some connections so people can get to here. But it's not going to clog up all our roads. You know, and I actually just realized that uh, when I fixed the trees through here, I actually took out the roundabout centerpiece that I had made over here. I'm just going to use Move It real quick. Copy those and plop them there. All right, so we put all that zoning in for residential. That'll all eventually fill out as demand comes. And then eventually we'll get, uh, hopefully we'll get demand for industrial so we can get going on farming and forestry. Um, so we can make good use of those roads and then eventually put this cargo terminal in here. Well, let's take a look at this park here. So originally this was all just a um, flat land. This road stayed along the, um, the terrain. It was flat on land, uh, but I kind of dipped this land down a bit here. So if we go into the uh, contours, we can see um, there's pad here, there's a pad up top, there's this lower area here. I'm definitely going to want a like a side entrance somewhere around here. I want definitely want the main entrance to be up here along the river. Um, and this is actually going to be a zoo. So that's what we're going to do here. Um, so we already have the city park. Um, I'm not ready to do the amusement park yet or the nature reserve, but we're going to do a nice zoo right in through here. So it's a, a little bit of a, a small space, but we'll definitely get some good exhibits in for the zoo. So let's get started on that. Let's go ahead and put the main gate here. And then we got the side gate, which I said I wanted 
down here. Be about there. That may be it for now. We might put some other entrances on the other sides, but I don't really feel like it's necessary right now. Alright, so let's start thinking about these exhibits here. So that one's a pretty big boy. Also want to see our contours. So realistically, the only real place I could put that, given the way the terrain is right now, would be pretty much around here. We may end up doing that, but let's see what the sizes of some of these other things are. Keeping the contours on. Alright, so we could probably fit a birdhouse up top here. We're going to have to modify the terrain a little bit, but that's okay. The antelope enclosure is actually pretty small. That one could probably fit around here, to be honest. Bison. Bison is pretty large. So we're not going to be able to get too much in here, to be honest. Elephant's pretty big. I mean, we also have to, you know, we could lower some of this land or do whatever we need to, but... See, this one we could probably fit up here. That's the giraffe. Monkeys. Could go somewhere maybe down here. Or over here, actually. You know what? Yeah, actually, I want the monkeys to... That looks perfect right there. Let's put the monkeys... There.
All right, so yeah, I'm just going to place a number of these, see what we can fit in here, fiddle around with them, and uh, then we'll fix the terrain and see what the end result looks like here.
All right, so I placed um, a good number of different uh, enclosures around for the zoo. Now I'm just going to link everything up with the uh, it's nice paths, and then we're going to put the parks, what I call park services buildings in. Um, plaza, the cafe, souvenir shops, and restrooms. So we're going to place those different places around the park here. So just sit tight and uh, watch me do that.
All right, so it does look like we've got all the exhibits connected up here. Some sloping and terrain issues, but nothing too bad. Now let's get the park services in here. So now let's go ahead and do a little bit of decoration with some trees. Gotta bring the brush size down to single for that. And, oh, looks like we leveled up. We're a level 2 park now. We need a better park name than new park, but we'll get there. So let's put some nice trees in. Got live oaks, horse chestnuts. Young lindens, pines, cottonwoods. Let's just see. That one's a little small. That one's small.
Sometimes you get these really huge ones that you just gotta put somewhere else. See, and just some nice tree placement gives us a little bit of privacy back here and hides our disgusting landscaping. So let's just uh, finish putting some nice trees up the path here. Sprinkle in a couple of these young lindens. See, and that's already looking good. See, and already this is looking a lot better. So we've hidden our landscaping just with some trees, careful placement of some trees, and I'm sure our guests definitely appreciate that. Like, let's actually, uh, I don't know what this will do on camera, but let's see what happens. See, this looks so nice. I would love to be in the zoo with all these wonderful trees around. 
It's great. That feels really good. So basically I'm just going to keep doing that for a little bit. Plopping some trees in and making things look every bit better.
All right, so definitely looking good. We do have uh, some of our park services spread around. Could probably use some more at some point, but I think this is definitely a good uh, use of the land. And it definitely looks like our Sims love it. All right, so let's uh, let's pull out. Let's take a look and see what our residential's been doing while we've been working on the park there. All right, so it's definitely filled out. We definitely have more demand, and we've um, nearly doubled our population, actually. Not quite doubled. I think we're at uh, we're at 2,900, so we're at 45. So definitely not bad. But there's no demand for pretty much anything else. Let's take a look and see where our commercial is. Uh, we got commercial near the train station, up along the riverbank. Same deal on this end. It looks like it's pretty full, actually. Alright, so we just took a little test run over this bridge in a car, and it looks like that if you're on this bridge, you can actually barely tell that there's anything going on here. Let's, let's follow another person. Now, I saw this person said that they're going to the convenience store, so it looks like they're done with the zoo. Let's see where they go. So from the first person view, this is actually looking pretty good. I mean, those are just parked cars. They need some place to park. I should have given them a parking lot. Maybe we'll find a place to put a parking lot in. What a nice view crossing the river on this pedestrian bridge. Looks like they do a weird dip thing there. All 
Alright, well, we followed him for enough. Looks like we got the residential demand going through the roof again. Let's just, uh, I hate the look of all these, um, cars parking here. Let's give them some parking lots. You know, taking a look at this has kind of made me realize also that I don't have any fences going around this park. So we're definitely going to have to get the fences in. But I think that should do it for parking lots. And then what we're going to do is use Traffic Manager and disable parking along this entire street. So I don't want to see them there. And I think they're using this street for the same reason, so we're going to do it on this one and this one. Hopefully that'll force a number of people into these parking lots. And, uh, I technically have some room down here, but that would mean putting the parking lots on this road, and I don't want to do that. So we will leave that as that is. And then we got to do this park fence here. So I know that looks bad, but we're going to just use move it to kind of bend it where I want it to go. Perfect. This one we can more or less bring along the street like this. But we will break that into two segments and pop that here. You know, this road has the barrier on it, so that makes it a little bit easier to make that look nice.
Okay, same deal here. We're gonna use move it and just kind of bring these to where we want them to be. Good. All right, and same as before, I just put all that really quick so that I could just take move it and move these all into place here. It looks like we're about halfway done with the fence.
All right, so over in these areas where I have the parking exposed to the street here, the fence goes behind the parking lots but connects up to the main building here. But otherwise, you can see it goes around all of the edges. And I do think that that park is looking pretty sharp. Let's, uh... Let's maybe call this... Goose Bay Zoo. And I got something popping up here. Oh, man. And that is looking pretty nice. So went from that big open space to this wonderful looking zoo. That's getting a lot of attention here. All right, so our residential demand is definitely going through the roof. We've blown through all of this area here. At least where I want to zone residential. So let's start taking a look at some of these other areas here. Now I intentionally left a lot of this blank just because I don't know where the rail lines are going to go. I mean, obviously I cut this spot through the trees for this one, but I don't know if I'm going to have other ones coming this way. I guess I could just use eminent domain and take houses in the future, but I just feel bad about that. I definitely don't want housing along this main avenue here. Um, but I think we could probably switch it up. We were doing commercial along here, but let's give some nice houses access to the waterfront here. Looks like I was just missing some zoning along here, but I have this zoning adjuster mod. So I mean, like, um, like here I'm missing zoning. I probably don't want it because this uh, train line is going to come through, so I'm going to leave that. But if I just take a look along and see some places, like here it looks like I'm missing zoning. Got some houses coming in because demand is really high. And I don't want to put any houses along this other avenue here because this one actually connects out to this new interchange we put in in the last stream. Let's 
Let's start putting some roads out back here. Now this one, I know I want there to be a connection up here to this main avenue. I also see that this road also didn't get any zoning on it, so I'm going to fix that real quick. do that up to about there. Come back to that when the time's right. Alright, let's finish doing these roads back here. And of course, I was just realized I didn't have collision on, so that went through a whole bunch of trees.
All right, so we can keep bringing residential down into what I have a uh, future residential here. Um, just, you know, a few more streets to put in through here. Fill this out a little bit. But more or less, uh, you know, a looser kind of grid, but kind of not. Pretty much same with here, mostly residential. We'll save some room for commercial along here, but I don't want to put, I really don't want to put commercial through here. This might be um, office bases far down the road, but we'll just leave that open for now because there's going to be a lot of truck traffic coming through here once we get these industries set up. So we definitely want to leave that open for that and see how that goes first. We're just going to keep pushing the residential down into here, putting services as needed. Let's just take another look. Power's good. Water's definitely still good. Garbage, we might have to put another facility out somewhere. Although it's starting to not be good here. So we'll take a look at that. Healthcare, we gotta put some more facilities out here. Pretty much everything except for education. Because we still have pretty good availability. High school, elementary school. See, there's only 12 eligible students right now, and we have a capacity of 2,000. So we're not going to put any of that. We definitely want to get this uh, industrial demand up. Um, oh, it looks like Goose Bay Zoo got up to level 3. So we're definitely going to be able to max this out. Because, look, the entertainment right now, to get to level 4, we need 1,000. And I forget what it is to get to level 5, but we're definitely going to get there. Um, and the visitor count is going through the roof. So we're pretty good without even having any policies on it. So that's a, a really nice use of that space right there. Once we start working on mass transit, like I said in the, uh, the last stream here, the only thing that I've really done is put this train station in, but this train station has these three metro lines that are coming out. So I want to be able to take one and kind of bring it up this way, take another one and go up here, 
and then take another one because eventually we're going to go on to the western side of the mainland from the island here. So eventually we're going to have some mass transit options for this zoo here. But for right now, I mean, if somebody's coming in to this train station from out of the city, they don't have too far of a walk to go. They can hit up either this side gate here, or they can walk all the way up and use the main gate. I'm actually going to bring the road down here. Alright, so we made ourselves a nice little cul-de-sac here, so we can actually put some more housing back here. Okay, so that'll start to fill up. And uh, actually, let's take a small road. Let's find a 1U road that I like here. Okay, and I think that might look acceptable. So let's put some more houses back here. These are going to be tiny boys here. But that's okay.
All right, yeah, we don't want to put any residential along this road here. So that ought to do it with those houses there. We still got a huge demand, so we can, we can start putting houses here. But let's quickly think about our services. Okay, we're just going to sprinkle some of these parks here and there. And uh, now it looks like we can get busy putting our residential down.
All right, so it looks like our residential demand is kind of tempered out for a little bit. So we got this whole area zoned as residential. We'll just let that go, and eventually that'll fill out. We got our population over 5,100, and we're looking good for right now. So we'll just let that continue to fill out for a moment. Since we did just had a bunch of residential, let's take a look at our traffic flow. Still 84%. We're still doing pretty good on the traffic here. Just a few hot spots, but there are a few different ways to get into this area. So people could be coming off the highway and take this road down in. They could be coming off the highway this way, take this road down in. Or they could come through the island. I would prefer that they did not do that, but that is definitely something that they could do as well. So there's definitely a lot of connectivity around here, and we're just trying to make sure that there are lots of ways to get in and out. All right, so we definitely got a lot accomplished in this episode here. Got all these residential places zoned, got some more residential coming in. Every once in a while we get a little more commercial demand, but that's filling out because I already have all this other commercial in other places. And then we did a lot of work on this zoo here today. Looks like we're pretty close to getting that up to level four actually, so that'll be pretty nice. And then hopefully we can get these industries going into the next stream here. We got the farming and the forestry and then the cargo terminal. So we gotta properly manage the traffic for this. But it'll all look pretty nice once we get up and running. All right, with that said, I think that might pretty much do it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me on this stream, and I will check you all next week at 9 p.m. Eastern Time next Saturday. Thank you, and have a good one.